Right, part C. So this is a long question, and I've no idea how long this video is going to be, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, so we've got to show the corresponding final form for the equation is this simpler one, this uh, mixed derivative. Now the whole idea is to convert the whole this complicated thing, which is a bit of a messy thing, down to something that's flat, which makes it is is solvable. That's the whole idea of it. So the, what we're going to do for that is use those characteristic. Uh, coordinates to um, kind of condense it down, um, what's the word I want, um, reduce it down, like a reduction of order sort of idea, where we can um, just make it much more simpler to, to solve. Okay, so it, unfortunately it's a long process and if there was a fast way of doing it, uh, I'd love to know. I've tried to think of one, but I don't think there is a quicker way. <laughs> So here we go. So we're going to use these two. So that's what we're starting off with um, to start off with to begin. And so we're just going to differentiate those first of all with respect to x and y. So the f of i dx is going to be minus 2x. The f of i d uh, d5 by dx is going to be 2x. The f of i dy is going to be 1. And uh, the phi by dy is going to be 2. So that should be pretty straightforward. Now to find, what we're going to do is replace all those in the equation. I'm going to replace this, this, this and this by functions that are uh, in terms of eta and phi. So to do that we need to start off with um, du by dx, the last one on the in the equation. And to get that in terms of phi and, and eta, we just use the chain rule. So we're going to write that as du d eta d eta dx, which is the uh, eta element of x. And um, same for phi. So you can see we've basically got d eta so du by dx, du by dx, um, repeated, which gives you du by dx as a whole, and the dx and the d is cancel. So that's the trick of it. So what we're going to do, we've got these values there already, so we're just going to substitute those in. So that's going to give du by um, d eta times by d uh, eta by dx, which is minus 2x times it. And then d5 by dx is 2x, so that gives 2x du by d5. So just factorising that gives, taking the 2x out gives that. Okay, and then we do the same thing for du and dy. So exactly the same chain rule. Again, we've got du by dy, du by dy, and the dx is cancelled. So we just substitute those in. So we're going to get 1 and 2 times each one. Um, and that's that. Uh, yeah, up here, I'm gonna, I've gone that wrong way, and that should be the way around. So let me just correct that. So 2x du by d5 minus du by d5. Hopefully, you spotted that intentional mistake. Okay, so that's those two out of the way. The next one we'd probably normally do um, d squared u by dx squared, but uh, in explaining this, it's a bit easier to explain this one first. So d squared u by dy squared, which we need to get replaced in the equation, that's just dy, d dy of du by dy. But we've already got this, we've just figured it out. So effectively, we're just going to um, kind of differentiate itself. We're going to put the u into that, so let's see if I can explain that. So it's d by dy of the thing we just found. What we do is, in this u's, we've kind of found the rule to differentiate du by dy. So in these u's, we put itself, i.e. this whole thing. So we're going to insert all of it into there, and all of it into there. So to do that, it's going to be d dieta of all that. So d by d of all that, and then 
plus 3 times d by d5 of all of it. So all that goes in there. Just gives all that. And then we just multiply those brackets. So that's t squared du. Uh, d5 squared plus 2 t squared u d to d5 plus 2 d squared u d to d5 again and 4 t times 2 d squared u d5 squared that's what it all comes to and these two in the middle they're going to add up they're the same thing so we're going to add up to 4 so we get a 1 4 4 pattern I won't write that all out but it's just 4 of those but there we go So that's d squared u, uh, d phi squared part. Oh, I've done it. We want on the actual question. Which I've uh, minimised. Mm, yeah, so that's that bit done. So now we'll look at that bit, which is similar. And then this one's just a mix of the two. So for d squared u, uh, dx squared, We've got the uh, same idea, d by dx of d by dx, but again, we already know that, so I've written it here. And um, here we've got a slightly more complicated problem because we've got a product, it's 2x times all that. So we're going to have to use the product rule. So we're going to differentiate that times it like that, and differentiate this and times it like that. So that's the starting point. So we're going to have derivative of 2x is 2 times by d by d5 minus d by d eta. And then 2x times by the derivative of that. The derivative of that is this idea again of the derivative of itself. So that means it's going to be a 2x in there. So it's going to be 2x times by the derivative of that. So that makes it 4x squared, which is going to be because it's 2x, which is the product rule, times by. 2x times by the derivative of itself. So now again we're in the u, we're going to put these this expression. So we're going to do d by d5 of the u, which is d u by d5 minus d u by d eta, minus d u by d eta of the same thing. Okay. So now we're going to multiply those brackets out. So I'm leaving the first one, nothing to touch there. 2x squared, 2, ta two, two times 2, and uh, 2x times 2x, 4x squared, and multiplying the brackets, d squared u, d5 squared, d squared u, d eta, d5, same again, and then plus d squared u, d eta squared. And again, these two add together, because they're the same thing, so it's 2 of them. Okay. Finally, we've got the mixed derivative to do. So it's d squared u dx dy. So we're going to do dx, d by dx of this time instead of d by dx, the dy, the du by dy derivative. So we're going to employ the te technique we've used uh, here, but instead of putting the u back into itself, which we did here, using the x derivative, the u by dx derivative. We're going to put du by dy derivative in there as well, so it's going to be 2x times by the dy, du by dy derivative. I hope that makes sense. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be a 2x and then the du, so d by d phi of this time the du by dy, this thing here in there. So that's that. Uh, minus d by d eta of the same thing. Again, multiplying the brackets out, that's going to give us a simpler form of t squared u. Oh, I made a mistake there, haven't I? What have I done? Oh, yeah, so um, I've totally screwed it. That should have been d eta. So that's going to multiply these brackets out. It's going to be d squared u, d eta, d phi. That's uh, what it should be, not what I put originally, d phi squared. And then uh, 2 d squared u, d phi squared. 
minus t squared u d eta squared minus 2 du squared d eta d phi. So you can see how easy it is to make a mistake with this. So it's lucky that we've got the time to do it and it, you know, it's taken me ages to explain it. It takes just as long to do it. So try to avoid what I've done <laughs> and make mistakes by just double, triple, quadruple checking it. Make sure it makes sense. The good thing about it is that because we have the answer in the question, hopefully we're going to get that again, then you know, yeah, you know what you need to work towards. So when we get to the end part and it doesn't work out what it should be, we can go back and go, ah, oh, something must have been wrong. So I would have noticed that eventually, uh, hopefully. Um, so that, that's what we've got. So does that all add up? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so this one here and this one here, I could simplify that to um, minus d squared u. minus two plus one. Yep. Okay, so now what we do is substitute all those things we found, the second derivative, second mixed derivatives of both u and y, uh, sorry, x and y, and the first order derivative of x into the equation that we're given. And we get this mess of stuff. So that's the uh, t squared um, That is the uh, d squared u du by dx, okay, and then that's the uh, d squared u by dx, and that's the mixed derivative, and that's the y d squared u by dy, and then that's the du by dx on the end of it. So the whole idea of this is that it should all cancel. Some stuff should cancel out because this is not a simple version that we end up with. The simpler version just contains the eta and d phi mixed derivative. So we can hopefully, what should happen is everything else cancels out. So you can see straight away that um, these cancel out because you've got two du by d phi and the x cancel out with that x there. So it's two du by d phi with the minus, so they cancel. That'll make that one a plus, which makes that uh, minus, so they cancel out as well, so they can go. Okay, uh, looking at the other ones, uh, we've got 4x squared of the d5 squared plus another 4x squared there, so it's 2x squared plus 2x squared, so we need to get rid of that with an 8. So luckily enough, there's a minus 8 there. There it goes. Next one is d squared u, d eta squared, uh, 4 of them, 4x squared of them. So what else have we got? We've got another two of them there, so it's minus two of them. So we need to get rid of another minus two, which funnily enough, there it is. So that goes. So what we've got left, just terms of mixed derivatives. Uh, in this one, we've got minus two times four x squared of them, which is minus eight x squared. Just write a short version of that. Here, I've got minus two, minus one, that's where it's a, yes, yeah, so it's minus one, so it's minus two of them. And then here, I've got, uh, that's four times minus two, minus eight. So the final thing I've got, and all that cancels out, is minus eight, minus eight, minus two, so minus 18 x squared, d squared two, of the mixed derivative equals zero which is very close to what we want. Now, to get what we want, we just need to divide by minus 18 x squared. Because uh, if those two things are multiplying to get zero, then the thing on the right must be zero. So there we go. And finally, we've got there. Uh, yes.